Hello. Hi. Yes. <laughs>back to new with another video. I had a request to do a video on Luna and her care requirements and I decided that that would be a very fun video especially because she is a rescue so I'm going to go over her story and her progress and then I'm going to go over their husbandry requirements. So if you're interested please keep watching, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks! So I got Luna from a local pet store. She was about 20 minutes away. My aunt actually sent me a picture of her and immediately I knew she was a Brazilian rainbow boa and I was like, okay, I need her. The pictures, you could tell that she did not look the best, but I wasn't exactly sure how bad it was until I got to the store. Um, so we went to go get her the next morning and she was still there. Um, she was kept on Aspen in 30% humidity. And when I asked what their husband's requirements were, even though I already knew them, I just wanted to see what they said. They said 30 to 35% is fine for a tropical species who actually requires much higher humidity than that. And I was like, yikes. Mm, yikes. So then they refused to give her to us until they ripped some of her shed off. She had two layers of stuck shed. And they would not give her to us until they did that for some reason. So we kind of just had to sit there while she tried to get away, while they ripped off all of her shed. Well, they tried to, they didn't get very much off. But when we brought her home, she got her first layer of stuck shed off almost immediately because we put her in her proper husbandry requirements. And then a week later, she got her second shed off. And now, as you can see, she's doing pretty great. She did have a lot of loose skin when we first got her. She was a little bit underweight because they were just feeding her one pinky and she was a baby every week and that's it. So she was missing some of her weight, but she is now up to a pretty healthy size for her age. And she is growing very steadily. She just had a shed about a week and a half ago and she is doing rather great, which is fantastic. She's one of my favorites. She was one of my dream snakes. So right when I saw her, I knew I had to get her right away. Yeah. So now we'll get into some of Luna's husbandry requirements and all Brazilian rainbow boas in general. Her humidity is supposed to stay above 75%, but I keep it between 85 and 95%. She does really well in that, and since they are a tropical species, it is recommended that especially for babies, their humidity stays a lot higher than adults. Since Luna is small, as you can see, she is not full grown by any means. We do keep her in a 28 quart tub and when she's ready for an upgrade she will be going to a PVC that we already have and it will be bioactive partially. I mean when she gets older her poop is going to be very big so it won't exactly clean it all up the cleanup crew but it will have the bugs in it to help me out a little bit when she is bigger. But for now, she will be just staying in her tub, which I will show closer to the end of the video and give you a quick enclosure tour of what her tub looks like. She does have a temperature gradient. I recommend a gradient for all snakes and all reptiles. They should all have a warm side and a cold side so they can thermoregulate properly. Her warm side stays around 83 degrees. It can go up to 85 degrees, but it cannot go past that because if it does, it can actually be fatal. They are very heat sensitive above 85 degrees Fahrenheit and it can lead to very bad neurological issues and even death if it's prolonged. So I try to just keep it steadily at 83 degrees and then on the cool side it's around 78 during the day. And at night I let it drop to around 80 on the warm side and 76-ish, maybe 75 on the cool side. Going along with humidity, a big tip that goes around very commonly is misting enclosures two to three times a day just to hold humidity, especially for the species since they do require very high humidity. And it actually should not be done as often as people say, if even at all. It's actually just a temporary fix for a long-term problem, and there are a lot of other things that you can do specifically to help your humidity without causing the issues that misting can have. When you mist, it actually causes very unnatural spikes and drops in humidity, which can lead to RI very fast. What I do instead of misting is I actually dampen the substrate like every one to two weeks whenever I need to, and that's all I have to do. I never have to mist, and the humidity just stays constant all the time. 
and it's a lot healthier and safer for your snake, especially to avoid RI. And about their temperament, a big misconception that goes around about Brazilian rainbow boas is that they're very feisty, especially when they're young and they're very bitey. And really, it all depends on the snake you get. I mean, all snakes have different personalities. Some might be really shy, and some might be completely fine with you right off the bat. Brazilian rainbow boas are always going to be a hit and miss with their temperament, but all you can really do is just handle them frequently and with confidence. The more you handle them, and every time they try to bite or strike at you and you just don't show fear, they're going to realize that you're not picking them up to hurt them, and they're eventually going to tame down really quick. Now I just thought I would show you a quick clip of her enclosure. This is her warm hide right here. I like to clutter it up with a lot of foliage, and I also have a wood piece here. Her water bowl is here, which I find her under a lot. She is actually burrowing a lot recently and going all the way under the substrate and always ends up under her water bowl. And this right here is actually your humid hide that's empty because I just did her enclosure. It's usually filled with sphagnum moss, which I have on the way in the mail, but I'm not sure when it's going to get here due to the coronavirus. But it is usually filled with moss to keep it humid, just even though it's already humid in her enclosure. I like to do it double just in case to help her shed if she ever has issues. So this is her enclosure. It's just a 28 quart tub, and that is all for now until she needs her upgrade to her PVC. So that is all I have for this video today. I kind of wanted to keep it short but still informational, so I hope you got a little bit of information from it. And I really hope you enjoyed, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye guys!